Hey friends, have you ever run into a problem where you needed to connect multiple devices such as keypads or liquid crystals to a microcontroller and you were running out of pins? Because for things like keypads and liquid crystals, you need a lot of connections to be made to any microcontroller. To solve this problem, we can use something called I2C expander. Now, what is I2C? I2C is inter-integrated circuit and it is a protocol for serial communication between multiple devices. Now, as we can see here, there are four pins on this I2C port expander. This one is VCC, it is for power. This one is ground, it is for the ground connection. This one is SDA and it transmits the serial data. And this one is SCL and it transmits a clock pulse so that both devices are in sync. So as you can see, the I2C protocol requires less number of connections. So we can use things like I2C port expander to reduce the number of pins connect, connected to a microcontroller. So in this video, we are going to make a project where we connect a keypad and a liquid crystal display to an Arduino and still use only four pins of the Arduino. Sounds interesting, let's get building. As we can see the cursor is blinking on the LCD so let me type some keys on the keypad and as I type each key the let the character should be displayed on the LCD so let's start one two three a b c so now we can see that it works so let's move on to the code so now let's look at the code so the first thing we do in the code is we include a few libraries. So the wire library comes built in with your Arduino IDE and you can install the I2C keypad libraries and the liquid crystal I2C libraries from the library manager. After, install, after getting the libraries, we create an LCD object from the liquid crystal I2C class and we initialize it with the address in hexadecimal, the number of the number of columns and then the number of rows. Then we create an I2C keypad object for our keypad and then we create a few variables for rows, columns and key presses. Next we create a standard key press array and here we have all the keys of our keypad plus n and f for no key and fail. In the setup method we initialize the LCD, turn on its backlight and start the blinking cursor. Then we start the wire library for the keypad. And then we start the keypad on this address, which is also in hexadecimal. Then we clear the LCD. In the loop method, we set the cursor to the current column and row variables. And then we create a new variable index IDX and we get the key and we make and we set the key press variables to the key press variable to the idx index of from the keys array if the key press is not a no key or a fail 
we print the key press and we increase the column and if column is more than 19 we make column 0 and we add 1 to the row and if the row is greater than 3 then we add then we make row 0 and the column 0 and then clear the LCD so that the characters don't come out of the LCD and we can see all the characters that we type. Then we have a short delay and it is 100 milliseconds so that we can press the keys easily and it does not take them as too many key presses. So hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.